All right, so this is our crib. That's pretty cool, but it's black and we want to paint it. So anyway, um, <clears throat> Ashley's busy working on her internship stuff, so I'm gonna have to try to do this with one hand. So bear with me. Um, so like I was kind of saying on the phone, if you measure from here, you gonna help me? Yeah, if you wanna help. All right, yeah, I do. Hold that. <laughs> Hold that right there. Sure. So from that end, butt it up against the, the post there. Butted. Over to this end. We're looking at about just shy of 51 inches, so you're looking at 50 and 3 quarters of an inch. Um, and then on the back side, on the back side, oh. Okay, on the back side, you're at 51 and three quarters. So it's a whole inch difference that we need to make up. So if you had some half inch pieces of plywood, my thought is, oh to just take a piece of plywood and put it in, you know, right right here, basically. You know, right right where that is gonna butt up against. So if you did a half inch piece here and here, and then did the same thing here and here, um, hopefully it wouldn't look too bad once we paint it and everything, but yeah. So that's really all we need. I don't know how close I can get here. If you can kind of see that, how it has kind of this this divot in here, which would make it hard to cut a piece exactly like that. So that's why I was thinking to just do a rectangle a rectangle piece that just fits, you know, around around it like that. So anyway, um, width wise. Oh. Right here, you're looking at an inch and a half. Um, the rail itself is three quarters of an inch. So the rail itself is. Uh, <clears throat> is three quarters of an inch wide. So you probably want to just cut a little block that'll fit right there that's about an inch wide by maybe two inches, two and a quarter inches tall. Inch wide, two and a quarter inches tall and, uh, and a half inch thick. And we just need one, two, three, four of them. So, um, so yeah, there's the, there's the numbers. That's the measurements. I think that's everything you need. Um, if you think it might be better, maybe we could just do an inch spacer over here instead of a half inch on both sides. Just do an inch here on, on the top and the bottom. And that way, it might be kind of hidden more where it's going to be right up against this with the dresser thing, whereas this side you might be able to see it pretty obviously if we put a you know a little spacer in on both of those. So whatever you think, um, maybe cut enough to have either way, you know, so we can kind of decide once you bring them up here. So um, those measurements again, just to recap, it was uh, about. It's about two and a quarter inches tall. Let me see. Yeah, I go with about two and a quarter inches tall by by an inch wide. You wouldn't want to go more than an inch and a half wide. Keep it just under an inch and a half if, if you can. So, and then a, and then a half inch thick. So there you have it. And if you want to bring up the sander and some sandpaper. We're probably going to need to rough this up because we want to paint it, prime it and paint it white.
so that it's good for a little girl.